Hello everyone and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we're all about things tech. Our first video in a new series called 10 Minutes with Linux where we try to kick the tires of a new release. Uh, not really a comprehensive view but a quick overview of a new release in 10 minutes or less and you decide whether or not you would like it and uh, we give our own opinions at the end. Today we're looking at Zorin OS, an Ubuntu based uh, distribution whose claim to fame is ease of use in particular for those who come from the Windows world. We're looking at the latest release which is Zorin 15.2 which provides updated hardware support and newer versions of de desktop applications. This includes uh, a newer kernel, kernel 5.3 ships with it which includes support for things such as the latest AMD Navi GPUs such as the RX 5700 series, Intel 10th generation processors, and newer MacBook and MacBook Pro keyboards and touchpads. Of course, as per usual with releases like this, we're also talking about uh, uh, up-to-date apps, at least the apps that are included. There are a number of versions you can get. There is Core, Ultimate, and Lite. Uh, at 2.5 gigs, I would not call this a light download, but Lite is basically what most people would probably go for, uh, as it includes a host of applications that are installed and uh, a good amount of support uh, in terms of uh, out-of-the-box experience which is something that's very important for those in particular new to Linux. So let's take a quick look. This is post install and afterwards of course we've checked the updater for uh, new updates and there were none to be found. It's a very stark but very nice desktop and uh, right click on the desktop right away we can see the usual <clears throat> uh, pop-up as we see many different Linux distributions we can uh, change the desktop settings where we have uh, different wallpapers. It's all done in real time. That's a nice one. Very different ones, as you can see, very quickly done. Not an issue at all. Performance seems quite good, even though this is in a virtual machine. Uh, we have menus we can do. We can deal with icons in terms of icon sizes, but we don't have any icons on our desktop as yet. But that is something that can be quickly solved. Also, we have properties. And these are the general properties that we can see in many different Linux distributions. Not as um, as detailed as, let's say, uh, MX Linux, but still very usable. Uh, by the way, both of these use XFCE as their GUI front end, so uh, performance is definitely a plus here with uh, great usability. If we come down down to the left, we have our our program menu. We'll go to that last. We have our default uh, web browser, which happens to be Firefox, installed by default. And of course, that's nothing bad about that. Firefox, Chromium, and my favorite, Opera. Any one of those three I could pretty much live with. We have the file manager. And we see it is Thunar 1.8.12. A very popular, lightweight file manager. Very, very functional. I really like the icon theme that's here, but then again, it's all personal taste. The beauty about Linux is you can change it and twist it any way you want. So let's continue. Here we have a one-stop shop for applications a quick application installer we can also check updates here in this tab we see that our software is up to date we can always do a refresh of that and it will double check for us and it will tell us yes our software is up to date as it as it did contact the update servers and nothing was found uh, we look at the applications that we have installed which gives us a comprehensive list of everything that's installed and we can remove it from here and we can add applications and they're categorized. For example, if I go into add-ons, I'll see GStreamer, GStreamer, pretty much all GStreamer add-ons, but then I could go into codecs, I could go font add-ons, hardware driver add-ons, input sources, um, we already did the codecs, audio and video, we'll look at the audio and video applications real quick, as we're almost halfway through this 10 minutes with Linux. And we see there's a pretty good comprehensive uh, selection of both known and un, in my opinion not that well known software so coming from the Ubuntu world I don't think there'll be any dearth of software uh, in particular so we can continue on that so it's a one-stop shop we've seen this before in different up in different uh, distributions it's a one-stop shop for uh, installing uh, new software or packages as they're called in the Linux world uh, checking what is installed and uninstalling those that software or packages and also updates and there's an update notification as well and let's continue so we have that that's excellent we go to the right uh, on the bottom panel 
if you right click uh, we have a very simple simple uh, configuration for the panel again MX Linux gives us a lot more uh, options but not necessarily uh, anything to do with the bettering your quality of life uh, as we continue further we have the notifications which tells us what we have here we can go to do not disturb and we have the notification settings which will tell us where the notification pop-up will occur uh, right now it's the top right corner opacity is 100 percent so you can't see through it and then applications that are listing show or block applications per application which is pretty good you can block things from happening from uh, executing i suppose or just showing up and we have our log continue again we have the network settings and we have our connection uh, settings as we have in many other Linux distributions. Again, uh, one thing I am very particular about is out of box uh, experience. And right now, it is uh, pretty much putting check marks in all those boxes. And of course, left or right clicking brings up left or right clicking. Sorry, brings up uh, different aspects and different uh, configuration options. And moving to there, we have our sound, so we can adjust our and use the parole media player it's not playing right now I guess that's the default media player and we have these different sound sliders uh, with one left click right click we can go to properties and once again you can click on power manager oh, which is here as well and I just want to show that we can have labels and we can do different things with power manager which I'll show a little bit later I hope uh, trying to adhere to this 10 minutes with Linux and here we go on a right click we have a our uh, calendar of course and our time so extremely simple to begin with uh, nothing that will jump out at you but its simplicity is actually a plus in my opinion so let's take a quick look at the program menu what's included with the light version well in terms of accessories we have a uh, little fine calculator screenshot uh, terminal emulator of course which is here no problem there and games we have a, a small selection I'm not really a big stickler for those kind of games uh, graphics we have of course the GNU, GNU manipulation program GIMP uh, LibreOffice is installed by default which is great uh, for internet we have Firefox uh, Remina a remote desktop client and we have Thunderbird Mail which is great of course which I use on every platform in multimedia we have cheese of course parole media player and we have a few other things that are installed that basically it's enough to get you started and get you uh, really out there and, and functional pretty quickly office of course the uh, aforementioned the uh, Libra office is included and in settings uh, basic settings it's very very Windows isk but not really Windows like if you know what I'm saying it's very simple of course we have our display settings um, everything is some people will say it's dumbed down but I say no it's not it's simple it gives you just what you need and that's really all what what most people want is just what you need uh, and a little bit more I have to say and we continue here's the power manager we talked about what to do when the power is pressed what to do in the sleep button on battery when to suspend when to stop pretty extensive very nice looking power manager um, and then we have network, network connections, onboard settings, and we preferred applications, printers, if you want to set up a printer. That's the basic printer dialog we see in so many different Linux distributions and whatnot. So settings are pretty comprehensive, absolutely. And with Zorin Appearance, which is probably their in-house developed app to change the appearance of Zorin itself. Uh, we can put uh, icons on the desktop if we want. Very simple to do. done as we can see Firefox is now on the desktop uh, system we have a few things we just have task manager through our file manager disk usage analyzer and bulk rename let me go into task manager and we could see that I'm using just over a gig of memory when I did start this I did check and I was using about 800 megs so 800 to a gig of memory on a system that's not really doing much for a system of this type is actually very acceptable uh, these systems are very uh, memory efficient and one thing I've noticed about Zorin OS at least on my platform is it runs very well very very well 
Uh, that being said, this is 10 minutes with Linux, really a really quick and rushed, and there's the alarm <laughs> to tell me it's time to stop. Uh, this is a new series. I hope you like it. And if uh, you want me to get a little bit more in depth, I will. Uh, just don't want to waste anybody's time. I really want to get to the crux of what's included with the system. I can tell you that Zorin OS running on the Ubuntu platform is absolutely um, stellar in terms of performance and in terms of stability. I will say that MX Linux does perform better, but that's over the top. Uh, but that being said, as a daily driver, uh, Zorin OS is, uh, is definitely something that you should look at, most definitely. Of course, there are alternatives such as Linux Mint and other uh, Ubuntu itself and other things as well that you can look at. Elementary, of course, Linux and whatnot. But in the Linux space, the beauty about it is uh, one size doesn't have to fit all because there are many sizes to choose from. Thank you once again for watching this video. We, I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Uh, leave some comments and uh, tell me if you like this format or not. Take care and see you soon.